Outside of Tua Tungavailoa and how he looks at practice every day, there's probably not a more talked-about player at Miami Dolphins training camp than rookie first-round pick Jalen Waddle. And there's probably not a more talked-about body part than Waddle's right ankle. Well, at least we think it's the right ankle, though to be safe, we can just go with his lower right leg. And the question with said right lower leg is whether there's something wrong with it. It's actually become a hotly debated topic on social media with one side suggesting he's limping while another insists that's merely the way he walks. From this vantage point, it appeared as though the latter was at play in the spring, but there have been a couple of instances during training camp where it's impossible to think it's not the former. Saturday was one of those days. Waddle visibly was limping after one particular 11-on-11 running play after he got up slowly, and he also hopped awkwardly near the sideline after being a pass target as though he was trying to avoid at all cost landing squarely on his right foot. Head coach Brian Flores said both during the spring and summer he didn't notice anything going on physically with Waddle, though it was clear from the stand Saturday that he looked at less than 100%. And it says here that maybe it would make sense to shut down Waddle given his importance heading into the 2021 season. Playing through an injury is commendable and helpful during the regular season, but Waddle is the kind of player with whom the Dolphins should exercise extreme caution. Fuller follow. Being cautious might be what the Dolphins are doing with Will Fuller v, who hasn't practiced since leaving the first session halfway through. Flores has termed Fuller's injury more than once as a day-to-day -day issue, but it's now been 10 days since he last practiced. Remember that Fuller will have to sit out the opener at New England on September 12th as he finished serving his six-game NFL suspension, but it still would be nice to have him back at practice sooner rather than later. Bowden falling behind? Lynn Bowden Jr. met with reporters Saturday and he was really engaging and energetic, giving reporters a fist bump after he was done. Bowden said he enjoyed being able to see faces when he was talking to reporters as opposed to conducting interviews through Zoom. During his media session, Bowden said he needed to pick up his game in training camp, and we're here to tell you he's not wrong about that. In fact, it's almost imperative he does that or he could find himself on the outside looking in when the Dolphins get down to their 53-man roster. The truth is that Bowden has been very quiet in camp, while others on the bubble have shined. That group would include players like Jakeem Grant and Isaiah Ford, even long-shot Kirk Merritt. Bowden showed impressive flashes last year after coming over in a trade with the Raiders, particularly a great feel in the open field and he was seen as somebody who could be a factor in the offense in 2021. It hasn't played out that way yet, and it's up to Bowden to get back on track.